Happy Sunday crafternoon, my paper crafting friends and makers. I'm trying to find me here, so I hope I'm in the right spot. Um, <laughs> every Sunday I go through this. I think one Sunday I was on my, there we go, I was on my personal page. I was like, oopsie, wrong place. <laughs> anyway, I know, I'm sorry. I repeat that every single week, right? So welcome on in. You, if you have found me, are at Dawn's Creative Chalet, and we're going to be creating today. My name is Dawn Borchette, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and we're going to have some fun today. And I think I have, I think I counted 23 samples. Please don't let me forget to show the samples after we're done, um, because there's a lot of fun stuff. And a couple of them you may have seen before. Um, I think I've shown this suite previously, but I can't get enough of it, obviously, because we're doing it again, but different cards, of course. So as you come on in, go ahead and say hello. Let me know where you're viewing from. You see the silly QR code here. If you would like to be part of my email newsletter, um, it's really simple to do, whether you have an iPad or an iPhone. I'm not sure if Android has a QR code reader in the camera, but I know iPhones do, Apple does. So go ahead and open up the camera on your smartphone and act as though you're gonna take a picture. And it reads that cute little code there and it will take you, you'll tap on that yellow link and it will take you right to where you need to fill in the form. There's just a couple of things you need to fill out. Um, so I know where to send your newsletter too. Anyway, so that is that. And then also we still have our March host code. So if there's anything that you see today, um, whether it's here, underneath the video, I have links to my online store for all the things that we're using today supply-wise. Um, I also have it on my blog, which is dawnscreativechalet.com. And the supply list will be found right there as well and linked directly to my store. So um, if you have any questions, though, make sure to holler. I'm always here to help. Okay. Also, just to remind you guys that not only do I have my business page, um, I think I'm trying to also stream in my group. So if you are in my group right now, which is Dawn's Creative Chalet Community, say hello. Let me know that you found me there. Um, I'm always trying something new, right? I want to see if I can break something, <laughs> basically. Oh, my goodness sakes. Anyway, um, say hello and let me know, because I'm not sure if I can see the comments from both my group and my page, or if it's just, on, I don't know, on my page since I'm streaming on my page. Who knows, right? Anyway, if you are on my business page, which is Dawn's Creative Chalet Paper Crafting, okay? Go ahead and like that page if you haven't already. And if you really love what you're seeing that I'm uh, giving as content, go ahead and leave a review. I haven't asked for those in a while. And if you haven't already, I would love that. Also, um, don't forget, I am on YouTube. So I load my Facebook Lives onto YouTube once we're done. So if you're unable to get on Facebook or you're just not there at all and you're following me on YouTube, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little bell. That will give you all the notifications when I load things and do things more with YouTube. Um, and like I said, my blog, which is dawnscreativechalet.com and my online store, which you've already seen the link for. Okay, and I'm on Pinterest as well. All the things, right? Because we love to be everywhere. Also, just a really quick reminder of things that are coming up here at the chalet. We have, um, of course, this class has already been closed, but we have a class coming up this Thursday. I'm really excited about it. It's the hot air balloons. So much fun. And then as we get into April, holy cow, by the way, happy Palm Sunday. And next Sunday is Easter, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do a Facebook Live or not. I really don't have any plans, um, <laughs> so I may. And if you are having plans for Easter, you can always watch the replay. But I'll let you know as the week progresses because things may change. Okay, back to the happenings. So in April, 
on Friday, April the 5th, my dad's birthday, I will be at Starbucks from 12 noon to 2 p.m. for a free make and take at the Ludington, Michigan Starbucks. So if you'd like to come on over, say hello, hang out, have some fun, a few smiles and a little bit of stamping time, it's a free make and take, a free card that we'll be doing on uh, April the 5th. 12 noon to 2 p.m. at the Ludington Starbucks. Also, I have creative card class coming up on Thursday, April the 11th at 10 a.m., 1 p.m. or 6.30 p.m. where we make four cards with envelopes and it's free with a minimum order or it's $25 for the class. And then also we have coming up into April our product inclusive class. So for this, I ask a two-week uh, in advance RSVP with prepayment it includes product. Hey, can't get any better than that, right? So I'm changing it up a little bit. We are going to be making four cards with envelopes, just four, not two of each design. Um, we're cutting down just a little bit. You know, the prices on things are getting up there, and I still want to be able to um, offer all the fun things for you guys. So four cards with envelopes and including products, you can duplicate those beautiful cards. And it's going to include the designer series paper, an embellishment, and a ribbon. Um, it's also bumped up one week. It's normally the fourth Thursday of the month. I'm moving it up a week because I'm going to go play in West Virginia on my side-by-side -side that following week. So that class is going to be held on April 18th. And I will need an RSVP by April, actually, I need it before the 11th. I need it the week before, so I need to change that. Anyway, so let me know, let's say the 1st of April, if you're wanting to go ahead and be a part of the Notes in Nature um, product-inclusive class. Also, I'm having a catalog kickoff party where we... Um, we snack, we smile, we stamp. <laughs> it's all the fun things, and we celebrate the new incoming catalog. And that is going to be on Thursday, May the 2nd, 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. only. I'm not going to offer the evening class. So 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. catalog kickoff. And I have some fun things up my sleeve for you guys. So you won't want to miss that. Make sure to RSVP no later than April the 29th. Hey, Judy, hello. How are you? Happy Sunday and happy Palm Sunday. Also, as we get into May, just to put it on your list, uh, the May Sip and Stamp at the Ludington Michigan Starbucks on Friday, May 2nd from noon to 2. I know I'm really kind of reaching out there, aren't I? It's like, hold the phone, Dawn. Hey, I can only take and digest one month at a time. Um, also, just to give you guys a little sneaky peeky with the upcoming paper pumpkin. So uh, you'll need to sign up by the 10th of April to get the April kit. And it's going to be called Delicate Wings. Oh, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? Very pretty. I love the little sneaky peeky hint type thing. Um, anyway, and also for the next three months, just like the last three months, they are offering a set of dyes. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a cold. So if I start barking, I got something here to sip on. Um, they are offering dyes that will coordinate with the next three months' kits, which is really cool. So I need to get mine yet. I keep forgetting to order those little buggers. But anyway, um, something fun, right? That's new and different with Paper Pumpkin. And I love that because they're constantly changing and they have improved their kits so much. Um, the last thing I want to tell you guys about we're noticing we're going to have a lot of changes this year with Stampin' Up. Not so much for you guys, but for demonstrators. But, well, I guess it kind of is for you guys, too. Online exclusives. So we've been calling them online exclusives for a while, right? Trying to get you guys to go ahead, look at my online store, because there are products that are there that you will not find in any publication. This is going to be true as you get introduced to the brand new catalog that goes live on May 1st. So yes, a brand new annual catalog is coming out really soon. So if you're wanting a catalog, um, I'm doing something a little different this year. If you've ordered with me within the last six months, you're getting a catalog. If you have not ordered with me in the last six months and you would like a catalog, reach out to me. I'm going to charge $10 that you will PayPal me and... Um, I will send a $10 coupon 
with that catalog that you'll use with me on your very first order. Um, let's see, what else is going to tell you? Oh, and you'll have to contact me directly to use that coupon because it's not something through, through Stampin' Up! It's through me directly. Uh, what else did I want to tell you? Oh my gosh, I had all these things that are like, I should have made notes, right? So anyway, with that being said, you're going to find a lot of QR codes in our catalog leading you to the online store. What's really cool is this is going to help keep things fresh for us. They're going to be able to constantly add new products that you won't see in any publication. I know I've said that already, but just to reiterate that. So something that you're going to want to do, get in the habit of, is maybe like once a week, go ahead and visit that online store and check it out and see what you might find. And as things do get introduced every, I think it's like every other, every other month. No, I can't. I know I have it written down. In fact, let me check this because I don't want to give misinformation. Let's see here. Where did my new catalog go? I think it ran away. Actually, I'm hiding it, right? So I behave myself because I'm really not supposed to show anything inside the catalog. Okay. So with that being said, isn't that a beautiful cover? I love the... I don't know what you want to call that. I don't know what the terminology is for that, but isn't that cool? Kind of like our paper. It's like DSP on the cover. So January, we have our mini catalog this, that gets introduced. March, we had new online exclusives, which were these, and we're playing with some of that today. Whoops. You guys need to be able to see that, huh? Um, May, our annual, annual catalog. Oh, my gosh, I can't even talk. The annual catalog will come out. In July, we will have more online exclusives. September, we have a mini catalog that comes out, and that's all the holiday good stuff. And that's going to be between 60 to 76 pages. November, we'll have online exclusives introduced once again. And then, of course, we have two new kits that are being introduced into our kits collection every single month. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And um, I'm excited about these changes and I hope that you guys are too. It's just getting a little adjusted to things and making sure that you do check and see because we do have a lot of really good stuff right there right now. Um, speaking of kits, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. First of all, I just posted this like a matter of maybe half hour ago. I love to print the insert for the paper pumpkin stamps that I keep in there. And I like that I can put this on my shelf and they all match all that good stuff, right? So I have posted the link for that. So if you guys are my paper pumpkin subscribers, look in both my group and on my business page here and you will see a link to be able to print this. And we do sell these stamp cases, by the way, in our annual catalog. And if you're wondering about something or have questions on it or can't find them, let me know and I will help guide you there. But with that being said, I just want to give you a quick uh, peek at the March kit, which is called Memorable Moments. I just put one of each together because I think I may be using this at Starbucks. These are so darn pretty and then we have there's three cards three designs of each and these wood embellishments oh my gosh they are so cool and then there's the third let me see here where is that right here and i love the tree they're so pretty right so and, and even the envelope is beautiful and i stamped Got, can't have naked envelopes, so I stamp those as well. So anyway, just want to give you a peek on that. And I also, whoops, um, during my time in Houston last week, seems like forever ago already, one of the things that they did give us was a kit to put together. This has absolutely no stamping, and I believe it's going to be, this is like a sneak peek, to what is coming in August. And uh, these, are, oh my gosh, are they not the cutest? The only thing is, these will not be able to be put unless maybe you just use a couple of glue dots. I did something silly and I used um, seal on them. So they will not come off because they were popping and they were driving me crazy. 
<laughs> but anyway, um, how cool is that? It's dimensional. So you'd probably want to give these to an in-person, you know, gift to somebody with maybe, maybe like sticking it inside the gift bag. So that's one of the three designs. And then we have this one. And then the sun pops up. Isn't that cool? And then we have the third design, which is Oh Happy Day. And then, boom! <laughs> Isn't that fun? And like I said, they were very simple to put together. I think I put the whole kit together in about, oh gosh, maybe a half hour max. So just adorable. And I had to show you because they were so much fun. They made me smile. So anyway, that is, I believe, um, an upcoming kit for April or thereafter. Maybe we're really getting a very long sneak peek. Okay. Oh, I think I got all the things taken care of here. And just a reminder once again, you guys, that both the annual catalog and the mini catalog are retiring. I am going to post the retiring list once again. Your best bet though, and I know I'm going to say it, I'm going to be repeating, is to go to the online store and pick out what you want now. Um, I know, gosh, I can't remember what day it was. Like I said, they're all blending together. But a few days ago, last week, well, last week, um, when we did receive the retirement list, I did go through them. And then I did a live and um, it's both on Facebook and YouTube. And we went through both catalogs and we marked up our books with everything retiring. So that way you know. Now the retiring list or the, what we call the last chance list will kick into effect as of the 9th of August. Or August, what am I saying August? April, I'm hoping for summer apparently. Um, so today's the 24th. So we have a little bit of time yet, but it gives you time to absorb what it is that you see is retiring so you can get it before it's gone. Because I hate to see anybody disappointed. So with that being said, when those last chance lists kick in, because there are some savings up to 60% on some of the things, um, make sure to shop sooner than later. The day of is like the best time to get what you want before it gets picked over. And of course, we have five in colors that are retiring as well. So if you've loved those last five that are retiring, um, make sure to grab those things now, like now. Because <laughs> those are the things that vanish first as soon as that last chance list kicks in and the sale kicks in. And you know, you know the drill. You guys know. So anyway, just a reminder on that. And then the, the new annual catalog will kick in on May 1st. Okay, so what are we doing today? Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't get enough of Latte Love. And this again, this is an online exclusive. So if you're wanting it, grab it there. And then of course we have the um, designer series paper, which is so stinking cute. OMG. Um, this is actually one of my faves. I love that. And the swirly. Mmm. <laughs> All right. And even if you don't love coffee, um, maybe you like tea. You can convert this into tea for sure. So the reason why I'm using this again, first of all, because obviously I love it that much. Secondly, um, when I was in Houston and on stage at that event for demonstrators, I went to what we called a pre, they called it a pre-game event, which was on Thursday morning before the actual Stampin' Up! event um, started. And two demonstrator friends of mine, Jennifer Cotton and Allie Gomez, hosted this um, stamping event. It was so cute and very cool. And they gave us a lot of samples to look at, which I think I posted um, but they also gave us these cute little gifts. So I wanted to show these to you guys. I'm assuming that they probably found these cute little pixie cups. Remember pixie cups? When I was little, my mom had these next to the sink. <laughs> it brings back memories. And they the water always tasted like paper. Oh, yeah, I remember those. But anyway, <laughs> they um, gave us treats. And I haven't, I'm so proud of myself, I haven't eaten them yet. <laughs> but anyway, I thought that was really cute. And then they also gave us this little 
Um, there's goodies in there. Yes, I haven't eaten those yet either. But I just thought this was so cute. And then they made us a little tag. Isn't that sweet? Very cute. So just some fun things that you can do to play with the products of this. But I also wanted to show you guys the other things that I'm using today. So if you have questions on the dyes that I'm using, the Stylish Shapes dyes are also being used today. And I did run everything through the die cut machine ahead. I probably should do that sometimes with you guys because I know not everybody here knows what a die cut machine is. I know, it's hard to believe. <laughs> but anyway, there could be beginners, right? I mean, so I'm using those today. Also, Thoughtful Expressions. I love the dies in this bundle. Now, for whatever reason, just an FYI, the stamp set is carrying over. The dies are not, and I'm using the dies today on one of the cards. This right here is what my favorite is about it, and these labels right here. I am just like, I'm perplexed why these are being retired. But anyway, if you would like them, grab them. Seriously, get them. Um, and I should have checked the inventory status report to see. I am not going to get rid of mine. I just can't. I love them so much. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. And then also... We are using the Everyday Detail Dyes. So um, I wanted to show you these again. Now, I believe that these are staying along with the stamp set. So the bundle staying. Um, oh, you know what? They might be. That's true, Judy. They might be moving. Good morning, Sandy. Hello. Happy Palm Sunday. Happy Sunday afternoon. That is so true. You know, I didn't even think about that. And again, that's a great reason why we have this online store, right? With these um, extra things. Whoops, I got all kinds of goodies in here. But anyway, so we're using these dies today. So yeah, you never know what's going to sneak over there. So that's why I say get in the habit of starting to look around our the online store for sure because you don't know what's going to land there. Um, anyway, so the main bundle we are using today is the Latte Love. So let's go ahead and get started. And then after we're done, don't go away because I have about 23, yeah, I think I counted 23 samples because I'm in a group with a bunch of demonstrator friends. And this is the bundle that we featured for this month to swap cards with. So I have some really interesting unique things with this bundle that you're going to want to see. So don't let me forget to show those to you once we're done stamping, because sometimes I get so wrapped up in the stamping and all that. Okay, let's get on with stuff. So this is the first card today. Um, I think this is a card that was actually originally designed by Jennifer, and I loved it so much. I wanted to make another one and show you guys too. So I have all these little bits and pieces. I have my cheat sheet on the back. Isn't that cute? I'm going to need my piercing mat and I'm putting a piece of just uh, copy paper on it because I'm gonna stamp off on the pecan pie. And you know, the thing is our stamp, or excuse me, our piercing mat is wonderful if you're not using our glass mat. I happened to take it down and wash it then I forgot to put it back up here. But anyway, with that being said, when you're using our photopolymer stamps, and this is a photopolymer set, um, you're going to want to make sure that you have a cushion under it or using our glass mat if you were lucky enough to get one of those. Let's see, I need this one right here. Grab glass block. Okay, let's give you guys some dimensions and all that good stuff. First of all, this is pecan pie. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> um, this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And it's going to be a landscape card. And then the designer series paper, which is this cute little, I want to call it a heart print. This is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then we have 
the petal pink. This is cut at three and an eighth by four and an eighth. And then we have another piece of pecan pie. This is cut at three by four. And then I have a piece of basic white, which is four by five and a quarter. And it's going to be inside the card for like the liner piece. And then I also, so they used a different die on this. I happen to not have them. And I'm trying to think of what it was called. I think it was Enduring Beauty, which is in the mini catalog, is where this label uh, die came from. I'm going to use these from, I believe it was the Everyday Details. And I cut an extra in case I make a boo-boo. See, if I cut extras, then I never make a mistake. But if I make a mistake, then I'm covered. <laughs> That's the way my brain rolls. So anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to grab my Early Espresso ink and we're just going to make a background. Whoops, make sure you guys can see everything that I'm doing here. We're going to make a background um, on this pecan pie piece. I think I'm jiggling the camera around. Sorry about that. Get you guys dizzy from movement. All right, so, and I, I love this stamp. I love, I, how do they do this, by the way? I need to talk to a barista at Starbucks and say, hey, how do you do these designs? Although I've never seen Starbucks do them. But wouldn't it be fun to learn that? Okay, there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and clean that off. You can tell my um, early espresso ink pad is very juicy. Yikes. All right. I'm just gonna take this, set it aside, and we're going to start, oh wait, I got something else I need to do. I need to stamp my sentiment. I'm getting ahead of myself. So with that being said, I'm going to grab this little guy, which I just love. And I'm going to borrow this block <clears throat> and also grab the hello there. Let's catch up. So I actually need this back. Early espresso. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment first. Just like that. And then I'm going to take pecan pie. Every time I grab this, I think of my grandmother's pecan pie. Oh, I miss that pecan pie. All right, I'm gonna stamp off and just leave like, I don't know, just the lighter version of that pecan pie. And let's see here, I better clean that off because I think I may be using that again. Okay, so now we are ready to assemble. So first of all, I'm gonna grab, let's use the multi-purpose glue. And if you guys happen to be new and you're like, what kind of glue is that? It is our, what we call green glue, multi-purpose liquid glue. Um, I put it into that cute little bottle that you can get on Amazon. And it's been the greatest hack ever because I believe that the green glue bottle just dispenses so much of that glue. Um, and that's why I would get it all over my hands <laughs> and I'd be a hot mess. So I really love this little hack that I've learned from some other demonstrators. And it saved me and I don't get all sticky and it's wonderful glue. I love it. Okay, so there we go. I'm like, where did it go? Also, you know what I didn't do? I didn't make a bow for this. Sorry, I had to grab my bow maker. Oops. Okay, we're going to do a smaller bow. Do any of you guys have one of these? Oh my gosh, I love this thing. So I keep my ribbon on the roll. I don't I don't cut it, which helps because then I don't waste as much of my ribbon that way. 
So I go around and make the number four, kind of, and then tighten my bow. That easy, I love it. Because otherwise, I've always made the bows with the rabbit ears. If you guys know what I'm talking about, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> the old rabbit ears, the old way of doing it. I've never been really good at making bows. Okay, there we go. So now we have a bow. Don't want to be bowless, you know. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my dimensionals. And we're going to put one in each corner and one in the middle. Peel those puppies off so I can find them all over the house later. <laughs> Isn't that the truth, right? Oops, and this piece here, I don't want to forget about it. This is the liner for inside my card. So I don't think I did that. Nope. We're going to put that there. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach this also with dimensionals. You guys know how I roll. Love these things. I just ordered another 10 packages of these. 10. I know, 10. Crazy. That's how I go through these all the time. Where did I get the bow maker? That's a really good question. So if you go to, so a friend of mine got this for me, um, a team member. If you go to 10secondbowmaker.com, that's where you'll find it. It is awesome. I can't live without it now that I have it. <laughs> So 10secondbowmaker.com and the numbers one and zero and it should get you right there. There you are. And there's number one, card number one. What do you guys think of that one? Super cute. Okay, let's go on to card number two. And I have three total for you guys today. So here is card number two. And here's all of my stuff. Go with you guys on some measurements. Ooh, there's a losable, as I call it. Yikes. And I'm going to get my cheat sheet out here. Okay, for measurements, we have pecan pie is the card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And then um, we have the Swirl DSP, which is this here. And this is the back, by the way, which you've just seen. Um, this is cut at five by three and a half. And then I changed this one up and I use this pattern because I absolutely, I am like mad for plaid. I just, I love this one. So this plaid DSP is cut at two and a half by five. And then we also have a piece of early espresso. This is cut by one, or excuse me, one by four and a quarter. And we have a piece of ribbon. I've cut at, it's right about five inches. And then, let me see here. Do, 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 do. This piece here is cut at two and a quarter by, whoops, that's really close, isn't it? Two and a quarter by four and a quarter. I have a piece of basic white. I did cut two in case I have a mishap, a boo-boo, but you only need one. And this is cut at two by two. And then I do have a piece of the heart and this is cut at two by two. Like I said, this is an extra. And then I also stamped on um, Lost Lagoon with Early Espresso ink, and I cut this out with the dies, cute little coffee cup. And then also on white with Early Espresso, I stamped this image from the stamp set and cut it out with the dies as well. And that's our little coffee that will go into the mug. And then I don't know if I mentioned this. This is the liner for the card on the inside. 
and this is four by five and a quarter. All right, lots of layers, but super easy. So let's go ahead and start to build the card. So first of all, we're gonna put the liner in the card, get this little guy right out of the way. Just like so. And then we're going to take this larger piece of designer paper. And again, this is cut at three and a half by five. And we're gonna put it off to the left-hand side of the card. Now, as you can see, they used a different DSP on the back and it was just really, really dark. And I thought I wanted to lighten this up. So I changed the, um, the card base from Early Espresso to Pecan Pie. So let me kind of know what you guys think of this. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach this piece of DSP. And again, the plaid is cut at two and a half by five. And we're gonna put this down on the right hand side, like so. And then we're gonna work with this piece here. So this is two and a quarter by four and a quarter on the early espresso. And like I said, this is two by two and this is also two by two. So I'm gonna start by putting this down on that piece. Whoops, uh oh. <laughs> okay, we're going to put that down just like so. And then on this piece is where we're going to do the stamping. So I need the Early Espresso ink and the Pecan Pie. Let's work with Early Espresso first. And I'm going to try this without the mat and see if we have luck. Because otherwise it's just in my way. Okay, this says thanks so much. And we're going to put it yeah, about there. I'll reach for this and clean that off. And then this itty, itty, bitty stamp that says, this one's, whoa, this one's on me. And also an early espresso ink right there perfect and then of course we need some coffee stains so let's see what did I do with that there it is and I am going to bring this over for a minute because I do want to stamp off with the pumpkin or excuse me pecan pie we have a lot of pie now we have pecan pie pumpkin pie and then our new, one of our new ink colors is peach pie. Like seriously, somebody must have been hungry when they were naming our uh, stamps, stamp colors. It's kind of funny. Okay, and then we're gonna put another one right there. All right, there we are. Okay. So I believe all of our stamping is done. Very little stamping, really. I'm letting the designer paper do all the work, right? Because it's so pretty, why wouldn't we want to? So I'm gonna go ahead and attach our stamped piece to the top portion of this strip. And then we're going to attach this entire piece, <clears throat> excuse me, over towards the right-ish of the card. So you have almost like a little square going right here. And then we're grabbing our early espresso. This is again, uh, let's see here, four and a quarter by one. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach it like so, right there. right about there. And then I cut the ribbon at an angle on each end. And like I said, it was right about, I don't know, five inches-ish. Not, well, no, not even that. Let me measure it. Because if it was five, it'd be closer to the length of the card. Well, no, it looks about like five inches. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do with this to attach it is I'm just going to put a little trail of glue on there, very little. And this is just being used as a little accent on the card. Whoops. And this is the pecan pie ribbon. I love this stuff. And it is retiring. So if you love it, grab it. Um, I'm so bummed. Because <laughs> it, it makes bows beautifully. So we're going to take this little itty bitty piece for the coffee. And put just a tiny bit of glue on that little guy. And we're going to put the coffee in the cup. Whoops. There we go. Adorable. And then we're going to attach this with dimensionals. Whoops. All right. And then, let's see here. We're going to put them right about... Uh-oh, my coffee moved. Not like crooked coffee. <laughs> there we are. And I'm going to put him right about there. And then I did a double bow. So basically, I cut two pieces of linen thread. Whoops, sorry about that. Two pieces of linen thread, just lined them together, and then tied it. So it made it like a double bow. Just so it was a little more of a punch. Because this linen thread is so um, thin. And I just wanted to give it a little extra. Now I'm going to use a glue dot and attach it right about here. And there is card number two. So their version and my version. What do you guys think of that one? That's kind of fun. I love all the layers. It's just um, letting that, like I said, the DSP do the work. And let's see, we have one more card. This one designed originally by Allie. <clears throat> and I just think it is stinking adorable, right? Again, just a lot of layers and we're letting that DSP do the work for us. So let's go through all the goodies here. First of all, I have a piece of the early espresso. It's cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And then I have the liner for inside the card, and that's cut at four by five and a quarter. Um, this, whoops, these two pieces of cardstock. So the beans, which is Calypso Coral background, uh, that is cut at three and three quarters by five. And the plaid piece is cut at three and a half by four and three quarters. I have a piece of lemon lolly, which is cut at four by one. I have the Calypso Coral, which was cut with the Thoughtful Expressions. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm trying to read my notes and figure out where my hand is. Um, this is the Calypso Coral dye, um, blah, 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 paper, and it was cut with Thoughtful Expressions dies. And then I have a piece of petal pink that I cut the circle out of the stylish shapes. I did a stamp and cut with the bundle this piece right here with um, pecan pie ink. I also, whoops, have another piece of Calypso coral that I stamped the coffee cup image with early espresso. And then I cut two of these for good measure in case I make a boo-boo. And this was cut at one half by two and a half. And I'm actually gonna cut at an angle on one end and this is Lost Lagoon. I have my double bow that I made with my linen thread and also this bow. So we're gonna double bow it. I think that that looks really cool. And this again is the pecan pie ribbon. Okay, let's assemble. First of all, I want to take, I was a little off on that die, wasn't I? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and take the liner 
the white, basic white piece and put it on the inside of the card. And get that right out of the way. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna take my Calypso Coral Coffee Beans and we're gonna layer it Kitty Wampus. <laughs> I don't know what to call this. Off center, crooked, on purpose, whatever you like. Both sides of this paper are so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and Kitty Wampus that piece of Calypso Coral Coffee Beans. And then I'm gonna take this piece and do the same thing in the opposite direction. And then I'm gonna take these two and we're gonna layer them together. Don't they look cool together? Like, I love that. So we're gonna go ahead and attach those. But before we attach it to the card, we're gonna take this four by one piece and it purposely is cut so it's a little short so you can still see the early espresso on either end. We're gonna take that and layer it right about the middle-ish, just like that. And then I'm gonna take this piece that we layered together and I'm gonna pop this up. We're gonna make a pop and pop and card here, some dimensionals. Peel those off, attach it to the card base, just like so. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see here, we're gonna attach this to my coffee cup. So we have our little espresso there in the cup. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and pop this up. The Postal Service might not like me too much. I use a lot of these. My cards always need that extra, like the butterfly stamp. I don't know if you guys use the butterfly stamp, but yeah. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, I need to stamp my sentiment yet, don't I? Let's see. Thanks so much, and I need my early espresso ink. I'm going to stamp this off to the right side. Just like that. Clean that off real quick before I get my fingers in it. And then, let's see, taking my snips which are buried, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that just like so, easy peasy. And what I wanna do, since I popped this up with dimensionals, I'm gonna stick it right about there. I'm gonna put one dimensional under here so it's even or flush with this piece. And then taking a little bit of glue on this side, we're gonna stick that little guy on just like so. And then these two ribbons that I've already done. I figured if I did all the ribbons and all the cutting um, right here with you guys, we'd be here until tomorrow. <laughs> I think that I would have everybody bored to pieces or gone, one of the two. Okay, and then we're gonna put that on just like so. And then this ribbon right here, we're gonna to add to the top of the other. I'm gonna put two mini glue dots there for a good measure. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do with all three of these? OMG, so let me bring back the cards that I made. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot. Okay. The best part, right? Okay, so these right here, the swirl, the adhesive back swirl dots. Oop. These are awesome and I forgot to add them. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna add 
And then I have samples for you guys, so don't go away. But these are the three cards made today. What do you guys think of them? I hope it's something that you'll try. And if you do duplicate them, please post. I want to see what, you, what you're doing with this stuff. It's so much fun. Like I said, I, I absolutely love the suite of product. It's, it's just fun, 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 fun. Makes me happy. Besides that, I'm kind of into the coffee thing. Let's see, I think I will put that there and these down here. All right, now it's complete. I feel better now. <laughs> so anyway, so there's this card and then we had two different colors for this card. I don't know which you like better. And then this card here. All right, let's show you guys some samples. These are really cool. So like I said, some of these are swap cards and with a group that I'm in um, that we actually swap every single month. I love it. Some of these, and I apologize for the glare because I've already have some of these into the clear envelopes to protect them. But some of these I may have shown you the last time, which I think was that one. I may have shown that one and this one and this one. <laughs> I have a lot. And this one. This was a swap card. Another swap card. Um, I'm not sure if I just show this one. And then, okay, and then this one I think I shown last time. So let's get these out of the way. And let's grab a bunch more. So this one I received from Kelly Atchison just this week. And then these were also made at the event uh, that I was at. So I finally got these made. There's this one and this one and this one. And then there's this one. I changed it up slightly. Um, and whoops, it's sticking. Then there's this one here. And this is a Z card. Kind of fun. And by the way, I'm very sad. The scallop uh, dies are going away. <laughs> I use them so much. I'm so bummed out. So there are those. More samples and the cards that we made for the event. Um, I still have more. Don't go away. The best I'm saving for last. Well, not that they're the best. They're just the most unique is how I should put it. So there was this one here. Isn't that cute? And then um, this one here. And this one here. I like that they use the vellum. By the way, I think vellum is retiring. It might be going into our online store, but... It's not in our new catalog. I was like, oh my gosh, like I love vellum. It's a nice filler, you know, for a card. Okay, and then I have this one. That is adorable, isn't it? I love it. I love the yellow. Like lemon lolly is such a pretty yellow. I don't know how many of you here are yellow people. And then there is this one here, which I thought was absolutely adorable. Okay. And then there's this one here, which I thought was fun. Totally outside of the colors of the designer paper, right? But check this one out. So this one I received just the other day. I believe it was Jeannie Siali. I'm not sure if I pronounced her name correctly. But she totally went outside the box with the Latte Love Bundle. You guys ready for this? Isn't that the coolest card? That would have been the coffee cups. So cute. Like, just so adorable. I love it. This card truly made me smile when I opened it. I love it. Okay. So, once again, here's the cards that we made today. 
I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. You guys make this so much fun. Um, once again, happy Palm Sunday. And I will let you know. I will keep in touch as far as if I'm going to be on on Easter Sunday or not. Um, like I said, right now I don't have plans, but that may change. So, and of course, I'm sure you have plans as well. But if I do hop on, and if you're not able to see me live, you can always watch the replay. Thanks again, you guys. I appreciate you so much. Hearts for all. And I hope they have a good rest of your Sunday and a great week. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.